Okay, today we're gonna try to do some welding with the thermite. We've got these two steel bars. They're rusty, but thermite is half rust, so hopefully that won't affect anything. Um, we're gonna pile the thermite up right here in this joint, and hopefully it'll it'll light all together and fuse it together, and we'll get to test and see how strong it is. Okay, we got the thermite piled up here. This is our first try actually welding something with it. Let's see how it goes. Well, I don't know if we had the uh, the sand piled up to cradle it properly for that. I don't think it actually welded. I think it kind of just whoo, fell away and, you know, attempted to burn my hand off. Um, let's let it cool down a little bit and then we'll pick it up and see how strong it is. Okay, so looking in further, uh, hopefully you can see that. It looks like there is a good weld right there. Uh, it's still really hot. I just had the camera off for a little bit. Um, let me see if these are holding together. No, it's, I could feel it's, it's together, but it feels really weak. Yeah, I could just twist it right off of there. And that might be because we had the rust on there. Maybe we should uh, clean these up and try again. You can see though, that's iron right there. So, all right. That was our first attempt. We can try again in a bit. Okay, we're gonna move on to these knives that we had. You might recognize them from a previous video. These made up my blade of knives. Hopefully this will go better than that did. But we're gonna try to join the knives right here. Get the thermite good and on there. It's on both sides. I think that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and light this and see if these hold up better than the bars did. I know the brightness of it doesn't show through, but trust me, that's really bright and obviously the heat too. Um, that's looking good. We got some good solid metal right there in between them. I don't want to move it because it's still in a semi-liquid state, so let's let it cool off a bit and then we'll check it out. Okay, these did get welded together. You can see that's a nice, clean, neat weld too. Obviously, this would take some time on the grinder. To get it to a point where you could uh, pretend to use this as anything other than a hunk of metal. It is extremely hot even where I'm touching it. I can feel it through these rubber gloves. Hopefully they don't melt to my fingers but I think I'll be okay. Um, I'm just gonna put a little pressure on here see how strong the weld is. Uh, I'm putting a good amount of pressure on there. It's actually yeah that was a mistake. It's actually uh, pretty strong. Uh, I'm impressed. Like when you melt metal together and let it cool, it goes back to being metal. So let's step this up a little bit and we'll try to do four of these together. And I'm not making any kind of usable weapon here. I'm just testing out the uh, viability of using thermite for welding. Okay, we've got the knives laid out here. We're going to try it a little bit different. You see they make a pattern. They've got the 45 degree angle cut on there, so they should... They look like they're meant to fit together like this, obviously they're not. But we did put a little divot underneath, we put some thermite in it, now we're going to put some thermite on top, and then we're going to light it. Come in. 
Okay, that looked like it burned well. Now we did have some thermite underneath. Hopefully that's all burned and it's not just waiting for us to reach for it before that part ignites. But we'll let it cool down and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, I think it's cool enough to try to move it now. It looks like we got a good weld there in the center. Let's see. It's still very hot. It feels pretty sturdy right there. Sides feel sturdy. There's the back where we had the other thermite. Yeah, that looks like it made a pretty solid weld on there. Some grinding on it might actually be useful as something. But, you know, that looks like it might be some... Okay, that's clean. So, we had two successes and one failure, the, the metal bars. Obviously having a flat, clean surface seems to help. The round, rusted surface didn't do so well. Um, I will, in the future, clean up those rusted bars and see if we can try again. I might have to look into the shape and form of the thermite that you need for getting a weld like that. It might be better if, I don't know, I'll look into it when we get back to it. But I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this. Uh, consider liking subscribing and, and sharing and we'll uh, do some more thermite in the future thank you for watching